Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, last time we did Schwonk Fortress and I complained about uh, green towering a lot and I think I fixed it now. Uh, I basically just turned on VSync and now it looks fine to me. Um, interestingly I checked the recording and it looks like the screen tearing maybe wasn't there in the recording just when I was looking at it, which is interesting. Um, because I'm literally just recording the screen, so I would have thought it'd be the same, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, so yeah, last time we got, if we bring up our little inventory here... This button, yeah. Uh, we got the sun and moon stones, and we had to fight some fuzzies to get them, but yeah, we're gonna use these to open Hooktail Castle. I don't have a power jump, which is a bit annoying. You get a power jump very early in um the first Paper Mario, but in this one it takes a little while. I haven't figured out how to block that particular attack. You got six star points. I should probably use the uh, restorer thingy here. Oop. There we go. Now we got full everything. Boop, 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 snoots, boop, 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 the snoots. Um. Yeah, we just got to attack the Koopa first. I don't think there was a move we could have done that would get us the back guy before we take out the Koopa. Sleepy Sheep. I don't know if there's an action command to block a sheep, Sleepy Sheep. I think there isn't, but I'm not sure. Um. Well, you can't attack that. You can use items. Um. I only want to use a fire flower though. Uh, defend. There we go, Mario's back. Let's do this. <laughs> it should probably be worth more star points if they're holding an item because, yeah, that sleepy sheep messed us up. Okay, we had a couple of these little challenge rooms to go through, but they weren't really a challenge. Yeah, I'm really bad at the spinner. Okay, so yeah, we're doing fine so far. Might turn down the volume I hear a little bit so I can hear my own voice. I can hear what I'm thinking now. <laughs> I believe that shouldn't affect the volume in the video at all. It's just my volume, so... Oh no! Ba -da 
Uh, here was the first little thing with the bald clefts we had to fight. You struck first. I should stay knocked down for another turn, which means uh, we won't take any damage. Come here, Jack. <laughs> We'll be using our special ability in order to use up some of that star power that we keep collecting. It's kind of a waste. But, eh. I haven't really had a need to use it yet. <laughs> okay, so we should be back to Petalburg now. Hello. You defeated the fabled stone monster of Schwonk? Whoa, well done! But wait, hold on now, that means I have no more job, doesn't it? Well, what do you suppose I should do now, huh? What a pickle! You could work on your art, you could write a novel or something, that'd be cool. I kinda wish we had spinning in this game, like in the N64 games, we could go a little quicker. Uh, we will eventually get the ability to go much quicker, but it does take it takes a little while. We're going for a couple chapters. Um, excuse me. It's it's Mario, right? Look, I um the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um, the... I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail, please, I'm begging you! Sorry about that. Uh, see, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course, I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started, for his sake. Everyone's sake. I... man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my Dad. I know it'd be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Oh, come along. For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Poops has joined your party. Poops abilities are primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting it. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. 
can even hold Koops' shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. Swap your partner in the field, press Start, Pause, and go to the Party menu. Okay Mario, let's get going. Oops. Oh, golly, um, hi, hi Koopy, Koopy Koo, did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But, you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. Hooktail will eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher, for you. But I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place? It's... it's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo, I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm travelling with Mario. He's the man. Fine, ignore me. Stubborn Koopa. You're not supposed to see her shell on the side there, that's a widescreen hack thing. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Okay, so yeah, Koop Koops has this ability. Uh, you might notice it's fairly similar. Uh, to V's Beamerang, which was inspired by this ability. Uh, it's all, there's also an ability called... Oh, we got a mystery. Uh, an ability that Koopa has in the first Paper Mario, which is the same thing as this. Um, Koops is essentially the same character. You struck first. And yeah, Koops does a decent amount of damage. He's pretty great. Uh, we are, go are gonna have some trouble tattling things because you need Goombella out to do that, and we're mostly gonna want to use Koops now that we have him because he does more damage in the stuff we'll be doing. Oop. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I believe there is a badge we can grab using Koop's ability now that we have him. I think it's just here. Oops. Uh, Mario, no, don't, don't do it, don't, don't do it, no! Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we should just be able to use our normal hammers on these guys. But yeah, Shell Toss is the, basically the same as Power Shell, but it only hits the front enemy instead of all of them. Uh, I think I stopped the recording for a second there. Oops. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, you didn't miss anything. It's just like a little bit. Um, just basically that battle ending. Uh. Okay, here is Koop's weakness. He cannot hit flying enemies at all. Uh, fortunately, in this case, it doesn't matter because Mario can jump on the Power Goomba, but... It may come in trouble, it may, may, may end up being a problem later, because, yeah. Uh, and it takes up a turn to switch partners. There is a badge you can get that stops that from happening, but we don't have the badge yet. And we won't for a while, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure when you get it, actually. Oh my, uh, this is a time for probably a power shell. There we go. <laughs> um, let me just check uh, the recording timing. It's a little fiddly because I accidentally stopped it a moment ago. Let me check how long this previous one.
15 minutes. Okay, so not hard. I want to go for about another 15. All right, cool. Just, just so I don't go for too long and make a really long video, because I could do that. I could just keep playing. Cause this game is amazing. <laughs> um, I think we may have missed the badge. I think it's back this way. Um, we don't have any badge points left, so we can't actually equip it yet anyway. But better to get a badge that you can't use than to not get a badge that you can use. There it is. Happy Heart. Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. That's gonna come in handy. Uh, I don't know if we'll be using it just yet, but we might equip it once we get a BP level up, which will be shortly, because we are pretty close to another level up. I don't know how much Happy Heart costs, actually. Uh, badges. Happy Heart is 2 BP. So yeah, we will need a level up, definitely. Sunstone goes in here. Sunstone is in place. Moonstone goes in here. Moonstone is in place. What's this say? Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle, weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum. If ye are a Petalberg Cooper, huzzah, your whole ability makes this maketh this chore a snap. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, you have to use a... This is like a little hold tutorial, basically. Come over here. There we go. Easy peasy. And then this thing that looks like a pipe... Turns out to be... A pipe! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna hit the save block back here. Uh, and then we're gonna head into the castle. Just check over here first to see if there's something cool hidden. Huh, doesn't look like it. I figured there'd be something like a star piece or something to get if you go over this way, but apparently not. Here we are. Castle time. Uh, which button is party? Uh, left. Okay. I want to be able to tattle, so... This is the entrance to Hooktail Castle. Not bad. There's a garden up ahead. There's a save block here too, so we'd probably better use it, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. Also a spring for some reason. Hit the spring and see what happens. Oh, I see. Uh, there's a recovery block there. We can go out this way. Booktail Castle. Oh, Hooktail Castle, huh? Well, it sure is ominous, that's for sure. I believe we actually have to be up here so that we can... Yeah, because the bridge is broken, so you have to use the plane panel to get across. Ah, uh, we already read this one. This is the Hooktail Castle Garden. Looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so... Majestic, you know? It's so big and strange. Aeroplane. There's a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't seem a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? I keep forgetting which direction is party. It's left. Okay. Mm, I think I need Koops out. I'm guessing these guys are going to attack at some point. And Koops is going to be the better party member to have. Or maybe not? I don't know. Uh, multi bounce. Oh, hang on. Oh no, I do. no, I've already got both of those. Okay, cool. Uh, power shell. Oh, defense up. That's not good. Does 
that's not going to do any damage, right? Because it's a defense of two. Yeah. Okay, we take the guy at the back again. Uh, I guess we can try once more and see if we can pierce his defense now. Nope. But now we can take him out. Yeah, a, a tiny bit of defense boosting can completely, like, lock you out in this game because of the way everything has such small numbers. A courage shell. Just use a courage to boost his or her defense. Not the right word. Oh, what's that? What's that? Power bounce. Jump on one enemy until you miss an action command. Power bounce is good. We want that. Oh my goodness. Um... Hmm. Retreat time, let's go. Retreat is kind of hard to use. Um, well, we got a little bit of stuff. And I guess instead of Coops, we want Goombella? Or partner, Goombella. Oh no, a Dizzy Dial? That's not good. Okay, um, let's try a multi-bounce. Ah, it got one. Oh, we still need to huddle on the back one. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, the paratrooper. That's a Koopa paratrooper. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa trooper with wings. Max HP is four, attack is two, and defense is one. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa trooper. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. Looks like you can still wiggle him around a bit. Okay, um, we'll bounce. Okay, we can take out that guy. Ah. I think we might level up after this one. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Oh, thanks. Very helpful. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really bad at doing the spinner. <laughs> Okay, that's nine. So not quite, but we're very close. We'll level up next battle. Ooh, yes, yes, please. Mm. Yeah, I already read that. Um. This is how we get back out. I'm weighing up whether we want to go back to the recovery block or just keep going. Hmm. I think we'll be okay, we just have to uh, do without special moves for a little bit. We probably want to switch to Cooper instead, or Coops. Coops instead of Goombella. There we go. Okay, I got the timing down on that. Uh, Mario's in danger though, which means 5 or less HP. So, um, fingers crossed. Probably should have attacked the front one, that wasn't a good move. 
Oh my goodness. We'll see how we do. Oh, lucky. Right, because we have close call on. That's really helpful. We get rid of that one. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Oh god, one health. Peril. Mario is in, one, in peril with exactly one health left. There are a lot of badges that make you very powerful when in peril, so uh, having Mario at one health can be very helpful if you're using one of those, but we don't have them yet, so... Okay, and that's a level up, which means we get full health back. Level up, level up, level up. Select one to upgrade. Let's go with BP. Bam. That's the stuff. Okay, now we can equip Happy Heart. Oh, possibly something else. I don't know. I'll have a look at what badges we've got. Um, badges is right. Okay, Power Bounce costs three, and I don't think it's going to be too useful just yet, but I'll keep it in mind. Put on Happy Heart. That should give us a bit more stamina for continuing our fights. This is a dungeon beyond us. Ick. There are bones scattered everywhere. Hmm. Mold and dust. Great. You could totally choke on the stench in this place. Ugh. Oh, Coops is back. Oh! Oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his... Ugh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I... I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to slay Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The Dread Hook Tower cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Fur and end with Og. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hook Tail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hook Tail, one must first find that item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't, this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Okay, we definitely need to find the frog item in order to get through here. Um... Uh, but we're going to do that next time because we are at 15 minutes, so I'm going to head back to the save point and we're going to continue in the next video. Uh, you might notice, by the way, that there's fewer bars here. That's important. That'll come up. Boop, 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 boop. I think the save point is all the way back here, right? It's a little annoying. Oops, uh, Y button, yeah. Okay, so yeah, next video we proceed to Hicktail's Castle. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!